Um, also in physics, we have um, the four basic forces. Um, these are universal and um, they apply to everything all the time at all places um, in every way that, they, that the laws they work. At the most basic, the, the strongest basic force is called, would you guess it, the strong force. The strong force is the force that binds protons into protons and neutrons into neutrons and binds protons and neutrons into atomic nuclei. And the strong force is so strong that at the scales that it operates, electro, uh, the electromagnetic force isn't even felt. Then below the strong force, we have the electromagnetic forces. Um, these are the forces that drive electric motors, that drive the magnets that we use. Um, these are also the forces that give us uh, friction, give us air resistance, give us the normal forces. You know, if you put something on a table, the reason why it doesn't go through is because the electromagnetic forces that push that object up. Um, so electromagnet, uh, the magnetic forces are, are really an important part of our everyday lives. Another force that, you know, we, we tend to forget about, but is just as important as the others, is the weak force. And this is a force that is much weaker than the electromagnetic force, but it, um, it's responsible for some of the nuclear decays that we see. Without that force, we couldn't explain why we have, um, I believe it's beta decay that's caused by that force. And finally, the force that you probably learned about first, but the force that we wouldn't even know exists if it weren't for the gigantic mass below our feet, is gravity. Gravity is by far a weaker force than any of the others, these others. The interesting thing is, is gravity behaves almost exactly like the electromagnetic force, except for with mass instead of charge. And so a lot of the math that you learn for the electromagnetic force will apply when you study, um, you know, general theory of relativity, what gravity actually is. An interesting history of physics um, is that at first we knew about the electric force. So we'd rub you know, wool on amber rods and we'd get charges and we can see that they would repel or attract and we learned about Coulomb, the Coulomb force for uh, electric, electric attack, uh, attraction or repulsion. Later on we discovered about magnets and how they behave and we discovered that actually the electric force and the magnetic force were different manifestations of the same thing. Well, it just so happens that eventually the electromagnetic and the weak force were unified by the electroweak theory. And nowadays we have the strong force and the electromagnetic and the weak force unified with a single force. And there's several theories floating around that would bring gravity into the mix. But really the inspiration for these unification theories started with the electromagnetic unification.